now that we've talked a little bit about exponents, we're going to move on to a little bit more in-depth rules. They're called power rules. And it means what happens when you have something inside parentheses multiplied together so many times using exponents. The main thing to remember with these is that whatever's grouped inside parentheses is being multiplied that many times to itself. So a times b raised to the third is the same as a times b multiplied to itself three times. This is the same as a to the third b to the third because a is multiplied to itself three times and b is multiplied to itself three times. So this is called power of a product because the product, meaning a and b, are being multiplied together. That's what product means. The power of a product means that it's being raised to an exponent. So whenever you have some things inside parentheses multiplied together raised to an exponent means that you will distribute that exponent to each factor inside parentheses. So a b to the m is the same as a to the m, b to the m. This works for fractions as well. a over b raised to the third is the same as a over b times a over b times a over b, which is the same as a to the third over b to the third. Notice that we could have saved ourselves this intermediate step simply by s just distributing that 3 to each value's exponent inside parentheses. It's important to remember that we're multiplying the value or the exponent outside parentheses in to each unseen exponent of 1 inside parentheses. And like, li likewise with these, it's like having a little 1 here as an exponent. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 1 again is 3. So, power of a quotient is the same as a to the m over b to the m. Looking at this problem here, you notice that we have a, a base raised to an exponent, all raised to an exponent. This is the same as a to the second multiplied to itself three times. It's the same as a times a times a times a times a times a, which is actually a to the sixth. If we know that, when we multiply a power raised to a power, we're going to get the product of the powers. We can move on to the power of a power rule, which says that a to the m raised to the n is the same as a to the m times n. And what that means, looking back at this problem, Notice that if I just took a to the 2 and multiplied it to 3, I would get exactly what I got here, which is a to the 6th. Let's work some examples.
Our first example is 5a to the fourth b all raised to the third. We could say, well, everything in parentheses is multiplied to itself three times, which would be very true. The only problem with that is that as the problems get bigger, this becomes really cumbersome to re rewrite however many times the exponent tells you to rewrite. So if we remember that power of a power rule says that if we have an exponent raised to another exponent, we multiply that exponent down, makes the whole situation way easier to deal with. Now remember, we're multiplying the exponent down to the exponents inside parentheses. And so we get 5 to the third, and remember it's 5 to the third because it's 5 to the first times the exponent, a to the fourth times the exponent on the outside, and b to the first times the exponent on the outside. This simplifies to 5 to the third, a to the twelfth, b to the third. Another way you could write this in its completely simplified form and how most, most people in mathematics expects you to finish it off is 5 times 5, which is 25, times 5, which is 125, a to the twelfth, b to the third. And this would be our final answer. In example two, we have a quotient, and it's raised to a power. So this is power of a quotient rule. Remember, if we have an exponent outside our parentheses, we can distribute that exponent to both the numerator's exponents and the denominator's exponents multiplying as we go. So we would have negative 5 raised to the first times 2, m to the third times 2, all over 9 to the first times 2, n to the fourth times 2. Notice that I'm multiplying the exponent down to the exponents within parentheses. When I simplify this further, I get negative 5 to the second, m to the sixth, over 9 to the second, n to the eighth. Simplifying that further, I have that negative 5 raised to a power of 2, or 25, m to the sixth over 81, n to the eighth. And that is my final answer.